the Prattville Lions Football Review Show with Coach Caleb Ross. Brought to you by Long Lewis Ford. Gibson's Tire Pro. Drager Physical Therapy. And Lynn North, your local All-State agent. Welcome into the Prattville Football Review. This is week 12. This is our final football review as the McGill Tool and Yellow Jackets knocked off our Prattville Lions in the first round of the playoffs by a score of 17-13 down in Mobile at Lipscomb Stadium. Tough night for the Lions. I'm Will Barrett, joined now by head coach Caleb Ross. And Caleb, you were right there with them all night long and play for play, I mean, in the in the heat of it down there. And it was just a, a hard-fought game. It was. You know, I was, I was obviously proud of our kids, man. You know, McGill's you know, being one of the best programs in the state, obviously we were there and they've continued that since we left. Uh, had a really good team this year. Maybe not quite as good as they've been the last couple of years, but still one of the more elite programs. You'd say top four or five in the state. And then we played toe-to-toe -to -toe with them. We thought going in we had a chance to go compete. We thought we had a chance to go win. Then you play the game you realize, man, we can win this game. Um, you know, when it come down to it, we didn't make quite enough plays down the stretch to win. I mean, you had some things that – uh, you know, end of the day in big ball games, critical ball games, you know, you, you got to eliminate some of the costly errors. And unfortunately, we're still growing this program. We're still trying to build it back to where it needs to be. And we made just a few costly plays. I thought the second half hurt us. But you say that, and we made enough plays to put us in that position. You think of some of the good plays in the first half, and, and even uh, the opening kickoff of the second half, man, things going our way and, and getting that ball right there on that kickoff play. So, um, I mean, really proud of that. Um, you know, I, I, you know, I just, I'm just really proud of where this program is. Yeah, we're disappointed that we lost. I'm really disappointed for the seniors. Man, they had an incredible run, but uh, man, they laid an incredible foundation. I know we'll talk about those things, and we've talked about those things already. But um, tough ball game Friday night, but very, very proud of the way we competed. Got a lot of man. You know, obviously, I, I was down there five years, so I've had so many people reach out to me and just say, man. You've got this program on the right track, man. They just played hard. They competed. Um, man, everybody knows there's some good days ahead for proper football. It was a, uh, it was, it was evident that night that that you had you had the team primed on a razor's edge. The defense was hitting so hard. There's so many so many uh, ooh plays where you look at the up at the crowd and and it's like, wow, is that kid going to get up? And he does. We saw several McGill players coming to the sideline, you know, grasping their abdomen or, or you know, just they, they've been met with some authority by that defense. Right. And the Lion Nation traveled really well to Mobile, filled up the whole visitor section. Just it goes to show you exactly what this program's capable of and how quickly it can come back. And no doubt, I thought we had more people there, or just as many as McGill's home crowd did, you know. And, uh, and there's no doubt. I mean, I knew our, our fan base would travel like that. What an atmosphere, man. And, and these are the reasons why, man, we're here. We This community supports football, always has. And we know once we get this thing rolling, man, the, the buzz of Prattville football is really high right now. We're very proud of that, man. And, and I even say this, man, usually after football seasons, even as the head coach, man, we pour so much into it that you want to kind of collect your breath and you're kind of a little bit wore out. Man, I almost like, man, I'm ready to take on this off season. Like, I wish we could start football now just because you just – there's so many things that we see we're so close to being really good. Man, you want to start developing these kids, and we will. We'll have a great off season, man. We'll push these kids. I thought the way this season happened, the way even though we lost, man, it was we left the kids hungry enough that I think we're going to have an incredible off season, man. And, and uh, I'm already – I know we're so far away, but I'm already looking forward to next year. And I, and I know there's so much that's got to happen between now and then, but just really proud of what we were able to do, really proud of the effort we played Friday night. Um, Man, like I said, I'm looking forward to the future. Uh, the future is bright, no doubt, for our, our Lions. But there were a lot of seniors on the field that night that played their final game. And you've been there. You've been in the same spot they've been in. Um, you and you and as a player and as a coach, what was your message to them? As you know, obviously a heartbroken group of, of Lions there. What do you say? Well, there's really, man, there's really no words you really can say to make them feel better. I've been there, and like I told them Friday night, I said, guys, man, I, there's nothing I can tell you. I, and I said, man, you have every right to feel every emotion. I remember like the only time I think I ever cried in high school was after my high school football game, senior year. Mm -hmm. Man, I remember sitting on the sideline and crying like a baby. And I said, that's okay, man. As you pour so much into this, uh, that man, it's uh, it's emotion that's real. So I, and I just wanted to thank them. I wanted to thank them for man the time, the commitment. They did not have to buy into a new coach. Man, this they've been through a lot, all the ups and downs. Man, the negativity of where the program was. 
And these kids decided to hang in there. They bought into my vision, our staff's vision of what we were wanting to get accomplished. And, and, and man, they're the ones. They're the ones that dug their cleats in the ground and decided, man, we don't want to be a losing program anymore. And I'm so proud of that. And, you know, obviously the goal from here on out is that seven wins, hopefully that's the least amount of wins we'll ever have. You know what I mean? But if you look at from where the program was to where it is, this group, I would say, will be as successful as any group to come through here because of what they had to go through to get this thing turned back in the right direction. So, man, I was just proud of them. I thanked them, and I loved them, and I always, they'll always know, and they know this, and we talked to them this week when we get back, that, man, they'll I'll always be there for them. Some of them will go and play college football. We'll help with that. Some of them won't. Some of them decide just to be a student. Some of them will go into the workforce, but they're always going to be a proud line, man. They're always going to be there. This will always be their family no matter what, and uh, that's the way we want it. That's what this community is about. Uh, like I said, man, I'm just very, very thankful for what they did this year. No doubt about it, Coach. 17-13, Prattville Falls at McGill Tulin in round one of the playoffs. Let's take a look at some of the highlights from Friday night's action right now. This is Caleb Ross, head football coach at the Prattville Lions. I want a special thanks, special shout out to Long Lewis Ford for being a, a proud supporter of Prattville football. 
Prattle Football and Long Lewis, both built for tough. I think this We Advise thing has gotten a little bit out of control. What do you mean? Pootie, I think I need a change. Should I cut my hair? Disney World or Las Vegas? Leather pants or a kilt? How can I get what my do you think? Is it all right Do you babysit? Let's just stick with what we know. Gibson's Tire Pros, we advise, you decide. Serving the River Region for over 35 years and carrying great tire brands like Bridgestone and Firestone. In our profession, we see a lot of remarkable recoveries. One thing that each success story has in common is the courage needed to take that first step. At Dreyer Physical Therapy Institute, we want to make it as easy as possible for you to get the expert opinion you need, so we've made that first step free. Sign up for a complimentary screen at any Dreyer location today, and we'll assess your condition and recommend the best next steps to get you back on the road to recovery. Call or click today to schedule your complimentary screen. DreyerPT.com slash screen. I'm a teenage girl. My BFF Becky texts and says she's kissed Johnny. Well, that's a problem because I like Johnny. Now, I'm emotionally compromised and whoopsies. I'm all, OMG, Becky's not even hot. And if you've got cut rate insurance, you could be paying for this yourself. So get Allstate. You can save money and be better protected from mayhem like me. Mayhem is everywhere. So get an Allstate agent. Are you in good hands? Welcome back to the Private Lions Football Review. Will Baird, along with head coach Caleb Ross, looking back at last week's uh, uh, final game of the season, a, a, a very tight loss to McGill Tulin down in Mobile 17 13, eliminating us from playoff contention. But, coach, like you said, the future's bright, a whole lot to play for coming up um, in, the, in the following years. A lot of talent, a lot of super kids coming up, and a lot of kids we're saying goodbye to. And um, we're going to look at we're going to take a look at, at two of those players here in the next segment of Inside the Lions Cage. But this Inside the Lions Cage year, a segment this year that, that Stacy's put on, uh, has been really phenomenal. So much good feedback from the community about getting to actually know who these kids are and seeing them without their helmets on and getting an inside inside the heads of some of these um, great guys you've got. Yeah, and I know we talked about it before. I know when I'd sat down with uh, Stacy back in the spring and I got here, I said, "Hey, I want to bring back the coaches show and do some type of review show. I think it's a good way to." You know, honor our kids is good for businesses, things like that. But and he said, "Hey, I got a, I got an idea to add to this, and it's kind of like a man, like a little segment that's a little bit different from football, where we get to interview kids." And I was like, "Man, that sounds like a really good idea." Mm -hmm. And it's been a great idea. I mean, it's been phenomenal. It was really, really good vision on Stacy's part to put it on, man. And like I said, I've gotten a lot of feedback from people, and our kids have enjoyed it. You can tell they look forward to it. I mean, they were really uh, honored that they were chosen to be. Uh, guys that were on that, so I hate that I couldn't get them all. You know what I mean yeah. I wanted to do seniors, and, and I could hate that I couldn't add them all because we had not enough spots. But uh, I thought it was a really fun segment, and I'm glad that, uh, like I said, people get to see that our kids are more than just football players. Man, they are students, and they're kids, and they have the same interests and the same loves that other kids have. Man, they're just they're just good people, man, and I'm 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 proud that people get to see that. Normally, we'll do a. An inside the Lions case segment, and we'll also do a Buffalo Rock Pepsi Player of the Game that we award at the, at the coaches show on Thursdays. But since there's no coaches show this week, this week's inside the Lions cage, we'll award um, our players of the week for this past week and the week prior to Will McQuiston and to Jake Howard, two guys that have really been um, huge parts of this defense this year. Absolutely, man. You look at you know Jake Howard, man. Just man, what an incredible what I call a football player, man. Just had a great year. Came back over this year, a guy that was. Uh, a little over 100 plus tackles, man. Just an incredible football season from him. Played really good football last couple games. And you look at Will McQuiston, a junior, a guy that I'm glad we get back next year. Man, played steady all year. In the last three or four games, played outstanding. He was at elite level, man. I mean, just played really, really good football. Uh, just a real smart kid. Makes a lot of plays. Uh, uh, man, I'm glad for both of those guys. And going to miss one. Glad we get one back. Our Inside the Lions Cage segment this week will feature the player of the game from the Sid Lanier game, which was Will McQuiston, and our player of the game from the McGill Tulin game, which was Jake Howell. Welcome back to the Private Lions Football Review. Will Barrett now here along with 
Jake Howard, who's no stranger to the Lions Review Program. He's been part of our Inside the Lions case segment this year, and now he joins us as our round one playoff against McGill Tulin player of the game. Jake, congratulations. Thank you. On your on your big big game Friday night. No, it wasn't the the, the result you're looking for, but uh, man, the defense just really came to play. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Talk about what this season's been like for you. 107 tackles, I think. Um, uh, not a lot of football experience before before this year. Talk about how the season has been and this transition season with these guys. Talk about the defense and what you guys have learned this year. Well, coming into the season, we knew we had new coaches and a new defense, so we knew we were going to have to be a little bit more unselfish and just try to learn the defense and play with each other because, you know, it's kind of hard to come from an old defense to a new defense. But we knew that once we started bunning and started juggling together, that it would be a great season. I feel like as the season went on, we got better and better each week as a defense. No doubt. And um, it was just fun. I wish we could just play some more because I really did have a fun time with this defense. You know? You're a senior. Um, that was your last game Friday. It was a hard it was a hard night for all the seniors. What, what, what would be your advice to the juniors and the sophomores that still have time left? My advice to the juniors and sophomores would be to um, don't take any days off. Just work every day because – when I was a junior sophomore, I thought, you know, you had plenty more time, you know. Mm -hmm. You had plenty of time to make that play, plenty of time to practice hard, but it comes very fast. The, the, the last high school game will come fast, so just don't take it for granted. No doubt about it. Now, what are your plans after high school? I plan on going to college and playing football. That's what I really want to do. Mm -hmm. I just, just want to keep playing. You got a tremendous upside, dude. And this, this is for you. This is your uh, player of the week against McGill Tulin High School, round one of the playoffs, and your free Sport Clips MVP treatment. Thank Make you. sure you Thank take advantage of that. Nothing like it. And also a card in there for Launch Trampoline Park, one hour of free jump time. And uh, now the football season's over, you can go do that. <laughs> <laughs> well, congratulations, man. We uh, enjoy watching you all season. You've had a great, uh, just a fantastic season on that defense. And uh, you guys have made a statement and got a laid a foundation for the private lines for years to come. So, well done. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome back to Inside the Lions Cage. Will Barrett now joined with Will McQuiston, a guy, another guy you've heard along a, a lot this year. He's gotten better and better as each as each game has proceeded. And uh, he was our player of the game against Sidlin Air High School to close out the regular season. And with his last couple of games, you really were just a dominant force. Like we look at the game against Auburn, you look at the game against Sidlin Air, and it was like the McQuiston show on the front line. <laughs> yeah, you know. It started to kick in towards the end of the season. I started to realize more so like where I fit in in the defense and how I needed to play and started to realize my role really on the team. And it started showing, you know, on film. You're a junior. You've got one year left here with the, with the, with the program. What's one thing you're looking forward to as we go into this off season and into the, into the season to come? I know it sounds kind of strange, well, I'm really excited for this off season, you know, because we only got Coach Ross towards like the end of February last year. Mm -hmm. We didn't have the whole off season to really get developed, and you know, we had to take a few weeks to learn him and to learn what was up with the new coaching staff. But I'm excited to see like how it's going to go because we're going to be, you know, pedal to the metal this year. Mm -hmm. We're going to be full speed, and I'm excited to see how much we're going to develop as a team and as players individually this season, this off season. You know, this team has played. Just lights out defensively as and gotten better and better as the seasons progressed, and that takes that takes uh, a sharp, sharp to be sharp physically and to be sharp mentally. And they tell me you're pretty smart. Oh, you know, just a little bit. That's a little bit. I mean, I'm, I mean, what? I mean, ACT score what? Twenty, twenty-five, something like that. Thirty-four. Thirty-four. <laughs> Thirty-four, and that's not the highest on the team. So, <laughs> if going I, for it. <laughs> you, still got, you still got a year to prove yourself. Still got a year. Come on, Will. You can get a little better than 34. What's, what's the max? 36? Yes, sir. And we don't settle for anything less than that. Of course so, not. I know, you, I know you don't either. So we've got a, a, a plaque for you for your game against Lanier High School. Player of the game, Will McQuiston. And Sport Clips MVP treatment and an hour at Launch Trampoline Park that Coach Ross will allow you to use now. The football season is over. Oh, yeah. So, uh, so Will McQuiston and Jake Howard here inside the Lions Cage this week. Two great Prattville Lions we certainly will miss Jake, and we'll look forward to another season with you, Will. Yes, sir. Well, that'll do it for Inside the Lions Cage. For Jake Howard, Will McQuiston, signing off.
This is Caleb Ross, head football coach at the Prattville Lions. I want a special thanks, special shout out to Long Lewis Ford for being a, a proud supporter of Prattville football. Prattville football and Long Lewis, both built for tough. I think this We Advise thing has gotten a little bit out of control. What do you mean? Hootie, I think I need a change. Should I cut my hair? Disney World or Las Vegas? Leather pants or a kilt? How can I get what do you my think? Is it all right to wear socks or sandals? Do you babysit? Let's just stick with what we know. Gibson's Tire Pros. We advise, you decide. Serving the River Region for over 35 years and carrying great tire brands like Bridgestone and Firestone. In our profession, we see a lot of remarkable recoveries. One thing that each success story has in common is the courage needed to take that first step. At Dreyer Physical Therapy Institute, we want to make it as easy as possible for you to get the expert opinion you need, so we've made that first step free. Sign up for a complimentary screen at any Dreyer location today, and we'll assess your condition and recommend the best next steps to get you back on the road to recovery. Call or click today to schedule your complimentary screen. DreyerPT.com slash screen. I'm a teenage girl. My BFF Becky texts and says she's kissed Johnny. Well, that's a problem because I like Johnny. Now I'm emotionally compromised and whoopsies. I'm all OMG. Becky's not even hot. And if you've got cut rate insurance, you could be paying for this yourself. So get all state. You can save money and be better protected from mayhem like me. Mayhem is everywhere. So get an Allstate agent. Are you in good hands? Well, Coach, it's been a tremendous uh, season for the Lions. A seven-win season. Uh, two more wins than the previous two years combined. Uh, seven and four record. Nothing to be ashamed of and everything to be proud of and look forward to as we turn as we, as this program starts to turn the other direction yeah i mean i mean i can feel it too man the whole field of the program is better and, and we accomplished what we wanted to accomplish i mean everybody's asked me coach what it did you get what you done what you want to get done absolutely man we set out a goal we're going to get this program back in the playoffs we want to get the numbers back up get the community back involved and want to get people excited about proper football and i think we've done all that i really have and uh Man, I'm just very thankful for the kids for buying into the vision. I'm thankful for the community, man, of buying into us and getting back to the stands, getting back support for the football program. Uh, man, this place is uh, turning back into what I've always thought it could be and should be. Uh, obviously, me being a proud alumni, man, this place is special. Man, we're so in, we're just deeply invested in this community. Love the city, love the school. Uh, we're just proud to be a proud line. And, and like I said, this I said these quotes the other night, man. We're coming. Mm -hmm. uh, we're coming. We are building a, we're, we're putting it back on the map. Uh, there are really good days ahead. We got some young talent that's really good. The kids are hungry. Uh, uh, you know, man, I don't want to sound overconfident. There's a lot of work that's got to happen in between now and then, but uh, we're coming. And uh, I look forward to what this thing is going to do in the future. And, and, you know, like I said, I want to thank everybody. I want to thank every, all the parents. I want to thank our players. I want to thank the faculty, administration, people that have supported us, that have manned us up. Because it takes a lot to run these programs. And uh, I'm proud of that. I want to thank our sponsors, man, to help put this show on. When you look at uh, Gibson Tire, Dreyer, uh, Long Lewis, uh, Lynn Norris, Allstate, man, these things, they're, they're people behind the scenes that, man, they, they run very successful companies themselves, and they buy into the vision of proper football, and uh, we're very thankful for that. Um, like I said, man, we're just we're excited, great year, uh, and look forward to the future. And uh, like I said, proud to be a proper line. Absolutely. For the Millsers and behind the camera all season, and for head coach Caleb Ross, I'm saying, I'm Will Barrett saying good night. God bless. Go Lions, and we'll see you next year. The Prattville Bull Lions Football Review Show with Coach Caleb Ross. Brought to you by Long Lewis Ford, Gibson's Tire Pro, Dreyer Physical Therapy, and Lynn North, your local All State agent.